these are the discs I'm gonna be skimming. They're from a CX500 twin disc front end. And as you can see, you might be able to see on the camera, the surface is quite ridged um, and there's a bit of a lip. But the discs are still well above their minimum thickness of 4mm. They're at about 4.8mm at the moment. Normally, what I'd do if I was skimming a disc is I'd, I'd hold it in an arbor that I'd machined so it was true and then skim the front and back. The problem with that on these is uh, if you can hear they resonate quite a lot which means that when you set it up in the arbor and then start cutting you get a lot of chatter um, and not a good surface finish nowhere near good enough for brake disc. So instead what I'm going to do is mount the disc up against a little fixture that I've made so that I can turn this face then mount this up against the face plate that I've turned through turn this face and this face here so they're all perfectly parallel This is the fixture I'm using, it's basically just a big lump of aluminium with a with a hole board through it. I'm going to skim the face to make sure it's running true and then I'll be pressing the disc up against it and then turning one face of the disc. got this washer with the edge machined away it fits nicely in the brake disc and I'm just gonna push on that with the tailstock to hold the disc in place while I machine it I've just faced this face plate. Now I'm going to mount the disc the other way around to turn the other face. Now I'm going to bolt the disc to the face plate so I can turn the mounting face.
Okay, so I've skimmed the disc. The finish is pretty good. Quite happy with that. So now I'm just going to measure it and make sure that it's, it's running okay. So, thickness. 4 .4 4.46 4.46 4.45 4.46, so that's good. And then wobble from the face. Looks like it's about half a thou or 0 0.01 millimeters, which is very good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna skim the other disc off camera, uh, and then I'm gonna paint the inside part here. So that's both discs skimmed and painted and they look pretty good. I uh, sprayed them and then baked the paint on so it's a little bit harder wearing. And I've measured them to make sure that all the faces are still parallel even with the layer of paint. About the thickness, the minimum thickness for these discs is 4mm but I wouldn't skim it to less than say 4.3mm because obviously once the pads start wearing the disc away, if you've skimmed it to 4mm it's going to become thinner than that. So you've got to make sure that you're a little bit over the minimum thickness when you skim them. And this method wouldn't work with floating discs. It only really works with the older style single piece offset discs. You can do the flat discs. Um, it's basically the same but you end up with a, a step where you've skimmed them away. I'll give the faces of these a clean with brake cleaner before I install them on the bike but other than that they're done so thanks for watching.